Oh, it's the people in there. The people who live inside the camera. Operation Blackout. And get out of here. Take it easy, be safe. Yep, and we'll see you in YouTube land. Yep, we'll see you in the... Link down below. I would love to stay longer. Yeah. But I've got to run. <laughs> I'm on the road again. Pretty windy out here. It's pretty gnarly wind. Whoa. In my belt, I have mashed potatoes. Put the tarp up to make a wall. G.I. Joe style. Stop the wind. Stop the flaps from flapping. And let's have beans and potatoes in the dark. Being comfortable in the cold. Carrying a Ziploc bag of water in my pocket. No trespassing. He's not running around the world. He's cutting the corners. He nuts. been soaking in black and green not tie-dye just straight up black and green for days days and days now these very edges aren't gonna you know, have got much dye but they're on the edges just as long as the main sheet is black so I'm gonna rinse it off and hope for the best Pretty cold out here. I mean, I'm sure not compared to where you are with snow and all that, but it's pretty cold for Florida. I've turned all my clothes inside out, so it's just looking lovely. That way, if I get dye on anything, it won't ruin the clothes. It will just be on the inside. Hup! I don't even want to wear shoes because I don't want to get black on my shoes. <laughs> cold elastic band fingers. Operation Blackout. Greatest fear is spilling all this in here. Is it duller or is it just exactly the same? It looks kind of camo against that fence. I mean, it looks way less harsh. Way less bright? Yeah. What do you reckon, guys? Is it any different? Or is it just really obvious? <laughs> there are tarps out there with like camo print, fake leaves, all kinds of cool stuff.
just made a bad decision. I was impatient and I just bought that one. Oh, that seems good enough. But I knew it wasn't great. Look at that face. What do you want, buddy? Hey, oh, it's the people in there. The people who live inside the camera. Keep side of the light at the end of the tunnel. What's up, peeps? Look at the chaos. It's just stuff everywhere that all needs packing. Jacket, that's the belt. The bed, earthing sheet needs to be pulled up. Hammock, pillow, all of that. It's time to pack and get out of here. It's proper cold out there. But in a kind of nice, it's winter and fresh kind of way. It's not like freezing, but it's certainly uh, a little bit chilly, a little bit chilly. So I'm going to be packing for the next 30 minutes or so. And then, and then hit the road. My belly is full of oats. <laughs> Yeah, that's not it. Thanks, Kenny. I'm trying to put my belt on. Oh, I'm full of bananas. And the shirt. Thanks, Kenny. Hmm? Leave that. Actually, I should just take the shirt off. Yeah, see? It's a little bit. There you go. It's probably springy. Boring. Boring. <laughs> boring, boring. All right. Well, it's been an amazing week. Yeah. Thank you so much for all the ways you've helped me. There's too many to number. Absolutely. Yeah. Same here. Thanks for, you know, all the motivation and stuff too. We'll definitely Thank see you. you again. Oh, yeah. You'll be driving up beside me on the van. Hey. Yeah, I think we'll see you out there one day. Just yep. jogging along and we'll be cruising by. <laughs> all right. Yeah, for sure. I would love to stay longer. Yeah. But I've got to run. <laughs> she told me to say that. <laughs> Bye, Paul. Bye, buddy. Yeah. Good friends. See you soon. <laughs> Hugs with the belt. Uh, Take it easy. Be safe. Yeah. And we'll see you in YouTube land. Yeah. We'll see you in the link down below. Link down below. <sighs> Amazing. Be safe, Sab. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah, you'll be seeing more of this van on their channel. Mm, I don't really know what way I'm going. No trespassing! <laughs> What's up, peeps? I'm on the road again. Well, actually, I'm off the road. I went in this little bit here. Up the road is a ferry. I've got to cross over to an island called Black Hammock Island. I just love the name, especially since my hammock's kind of black and kind of camouflage with a kind of not very camouflage roof. But we tried. So I'm just walking because I drank a massive amount of banana and oat smoothies and I just feel like it should digest and the ferry isn't far away. So let's at least get over the ferry before we begin running. This is the road, look. It feels nice to be out here. It feels cold, like I put my hands halfway in. And my fingers are a little bit chilly, a little bit brisk. I do have some gloves. It's kind of at that level where, with the wind chill, I could do with some gloves. Because I am heading north, not far from Georgia, really. And once we get up through Georgia, then it's like North Carolina, and it's going to get colder and colder. So time to practice being comfortable in the cold. faster and keeps me warmer. Helicopter keeps going over, I don't know why. She's 
just been going round and round and round. We're nearly at the ferry. Here's a little tip for you. Cut the corners. I never go all round the corners. I just cut straight through. He's not running round the world. He's cutting the corners. <laughs> Okay, so I just filled up my water bottle in this seafood marketplace. My spare bottle, I knew it was a spare for a reason. Look. Oh dear. It's gonna need some duct tape. Let's find a bench. Uh-oh, <laughs> drippy, drippy. So the duct tape failed big time. These are bags from Lucky's. I said to Mindy and Joe, I want to keep them, I want to keep them. They'll come in handy. So right now they're coming in handy, stopping my leg and my pocket from getting wet. My plan is to put it that way up so it shouldn't drip out too much. Up ahead is just an island with nothing. Nothing for 10 or 15 miles of nothingness. And that's all I've got to get me through. Okay. Carry on, I knew it would be getting dark by the time I really get going. But better than wait till tomorrow. I don't want to wait any longer. And it means I wake up out here. I wake up on the other side of the island. Food, ice cream, milk, beer, ice. <laughs> Just thinking I might get some sneaky treats, probably the last shop. Good. They're not gonna have cliff bars, are they? I don't want to carry anything like this. Or do I? I could heat up a can of soup or something. A can of beans. Like that. So I got a can of beans. <laughs> But in my belt, I have mashed potatoes. I have that like dehydrated smash mash stuff. Just a very small pouch, but it will be enough to mix with the beans and have beans and potatoes for dinner. This is a cool house. It looks like a haunted house, <laughs> except for the pelican. What's up, pelican? But the house looks cool, huh? This ferry is every 30 minutes. So I've either got 29 minutes to wait or hopefully less. River John's Ferry. Cool. This will be my first like, ride on a boat like this. Every 20 minutes. That's cool. I just stand out here. Hi. All right, good deal. Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Double ziplock it. Because if that ziplock breaks, I've got a wet pocket. I'm a pelican! I'm a pelican! Yeah! This is the closest I've been. What's up, pelican friend? Hi! Hey, buddy! I've reached the other side. It's 
Strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Put my gloves on. One handed. Jacksonville, where it's 20 miles away. Amelia Island, which is where we're going to go sleep, is 10 miles. Fernandy Beach is the next realistic place I can get food. We are going north. Let's go north, let's go. Let's go north, let's go. Peanuts! <laughs> peanuts! Get your peanuts here! All right, I'm starting to run a little bit. Keeping me warm, keeping me entertained. Just when I want to push the button, I have to get my thumb out. Because <laughs> these gloves don't have a touch sensitive thing. So that's the latest news. I've got my thumb out. I've got my thumb out and I'm running. Alrighty then, peeps. How good is this rechargeable headlamp? Super bright. And also for filming. So my bag of water is just around in my pocket. I found this shelter and there's water running here. So what better place to sleep than under here? That really sealed the deal for me. I'm like, okay, that'll do. The wind is blowing directly in. I can probably pin my tarp across there, block out the wind. I've got a bench to sit at and a roof above. Put the tarp up to make a wall stop the wind and let's have beans and potatoes in the dark pretty gnarly wind Whoa. it's gonna be uh, a windy night look at that Cheers. so yeah all right of them peaks starting to take shape looking a lot better pinned it down to the bench as low as possible and then the wind can't get round this corner so I'm getting in that way that's the goal is to pin that closed so I'm gonna do it G.I. Joe style this is gonna be my pin to pin it closed Split. That's exactly what we want. Splitty. The top should have doors that stay closed. So it's definitely time to think about a new top. Slide it on. There's one. So I've slid the tarp into the slit that I made. So I basically I've made pegs. G.I. Joe style. Looking good. One more. Hey! Perfect. That's gonna keep the wind out. Stop the flapping. Stop the flaps from flapping. Good night's sleep. Okay, I'm gonna put the belt inside. Okay, don't know how well this is gonna go in the wind. But here we go. Here's some potatoes. Too bad. 
so difficult to show you to get the light and the camera in at the same time. But it's not bad. It's warm. It's beanie. Something warm instead of cold oats or cold potato. Do some editing, do some sleeping. I'm not going to spend much time sitting out here in the wind. Alrighty then. It's bedtime. Time to go to bed. We're going in. Hup. Gotta go under. In. <laughs> yes. That'll do nicely. Out of the wind. That's what matters. I've even got that emergency blanket poncho thing. So if I'm really cold, that's a whole nother layer that will reflect any heat back inside. So it's actually much better to have the orange silver blanket poncho than it was to have a rain jacket. The rain jacket just eventually became permeable and let all the water through and can't double up as a blanket. So I'm much better off. Night night. Take an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah.